Everybody, my name is Hayden. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we found this little skull rock, and uh, Bobby was like, "Hey, maybe Flavio's gem will fit inside." So let's go ahead and talk to Flavio. Skull Captain Cassius Clears. We read all this in the last episode. I'm just seeing the words. What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something? Is that correct? Now, what could it possibly, what could I possibly have that you would need with such anxiousness? Skull gem. Oh, I just skipped that. Like, you really, really need it. This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is all right because I am Flavio, he of such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. The pride of Flavio's family. Can it be? Can it be set in the skull rock? I don't know. Probably. Wow, okay. One, one. One, two, three. One. What? It's three red, four blue, right? Oh, I think I have to hit him on the head. Shoot, okay. Um. And that's nine star points in our pocket. So just 12 more star points and we can level up. All right, so I think it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Hey. Huh, I wonder what that could be for. There we go. I like how he just appears right back to me right after. Oh, such excitement! The cave entrance! Hmm, huh. What? Ah, my skull gem! M -m -m Mario, what were you thinking? The gem was part of the house of Flavio! Phew! Oh, what a happy day! I have my skull gem back! My jolliness has no end! Now then, I'm I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at I cannot let those back at camp worry about me further. You two understand, yes? So let me know when you find that glittery treasure, all right? Yep, oh, sure thing, Flavio. One star day circle music note. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers enter the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Alright, well, I'm glad you're nervous. Ooh. Ooh. Boop. I like how there's conveniently a spring right there. Okay. Oh, there's a. There's a red ember. I don't think we've seen one of them yet. Which means we have to tattle them. I'm gonna tell mom. Get it, tattle. Yeah, that's funny. Alright, um... I have to do it with Mario, so that next turn I can use... Actually... Yeah, because there's only one enemy left, so... Attacking is gonna be useless right now. But tattling will not be useless. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit. Max HP is six, six. Attack is four, and defense is zero. Its HP and attack power may be different from an ember's, but otherwise it's the same. Since it is made of fire, try not to touch it, cause it'll burn you. Apparently, it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. Oh, and if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, so guard well. Perfect. Let us use a hammer. Do, 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 do. I love doing stylish moves. I'm gonna do those all the time now. It's, I forgot that you can do those. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Anyways, grab a heart there. Eh. 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 
There we go. Um, let's do a normal hammer. They only have six health anyways. Let's switch to Bobbery because they are weak to explosions. Oh, they're weak to ice too. I should probably use that. Ouch. Um. There's actually no point in me having the ice hammer at all, I just realized. Because they die within the, like, the six attack that I do with my normal hammer anyways. So, freezing them and or doing more damage is pretty useless. So, I guess I'm just going to unequip the ice hammer and get my multi-bounce back. We got 20 star points from that. That's pretty awesome. I guess there was four of them, but... Yeah. Alright, here's the real question. BP or FP? I'm going BP, I think. Yeah, let's do BP. There's so many badges in this game. There's, like... There's no reason to do anything with BP. I know last time I did FP, but it's kind of dumb. Get rid of Ice Smash. Let's do Head Head Rattle. Um. Oh well, yeah, we can do Head Rattle and Hammer Throw and Last Stand. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this looks like a job for Miss Vivian. There we go. Sorry, I didn't talk for the whole time. I just was a little nervous, you know? Oh, shoot. Um, do multi-bounce. Oh, shoot. No, I'm not going to because I want to tattle. I'm going to switch to Goombella. I forgot this is the first time that these show up. Ah, oh, come on, really? Well, I guess I'm going to just have to get attacked again. Boop. Perfect. And let's tattle on one of them. Get a stylish. That's a bullet bill. It attacks after being shot from a bullet or from a bill blaster. Max HP is two, attack is four, and defense is one. Take care of it quickly, or it'll totally wail it into you, mosh pit style. Use those action commands and take it out. Alright. Excuse me, sure thing. Nope. Multi bounce is so fucking dope. It's like it's just so nice to get rid of all the enemies at once. Boop. Yeah, I struck first. Let's... Oh, yeah, Stylish builds up... There is a point to Stylish moves. That's right. Okay. Um, let's do a head rattle. Oh, how much health they have? They must not have very much health. Um, but yeah, the, um... Damn it. The, uh... The stylish moves do have a point in having him be, um, it gives you more star power. I, I don't know, this is like the, f the third episode I've recorded today, and I'm getting burned out. I get burned out like every time I record this shit. Oh wait! Shit, I didn't tattle them. There's more of them later, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Okay. I was a little worried. Boop. 
Boop. Um. Yoshi? Perfect. Okay. There's. There's a winch here that raises the slui skate. You will need a handle to move the winch. What the hell is this thing? I'm gonna get Goombella out because I know I haven't gotten this thing before. Holy sh Nikes! I gotta run that thing fast. Tattle on it. Uh, boopy. That's a bulky bomb bomb. I think it's like other bomb bombs, but it's huge. Max HP is eight. Attack is two. Defense is one. It's weird. Uh, it never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind it taking itself out of battle, but that explosion hurts us too. Oh, and uh, when its power is up, the attack power is eight. So watch out. Fire and explosions light its fuse, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. Not a problem. Because I have like a ton of attack power for no reason, and it's kind of ridiculous. Like, have you noticed how easy these battles have been because of our attack power? Kind of insane. Uh, boop. Boop, 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 boop. You know what? Screw it. We have so- we're getting so much star points from doing stylish moves that we can just do our tremors all day. There we go. God, I love the soundtrack to this game. I don't know if I've ever said how much I love it, but God, it's so good. It's just like, it's so groovy. Like, maybe not groovy, but like, it just like gets you in the mood to fight. Just like, I don't know, it has to be like the perfect battle theme. But you know what's even a, an even better battle theme? Is the the pizza delivery theme from Spider-Man 2 on the PS2. That's a good theme. Um, so I think I might actually call it an early episode considering there's a safe block right here. So if you enjoyed this episode, consider hitting the like button to let me know you liked it. Subscribe to see future uploads from me. Um, check out my friends Nostalgic Gamer and Sky Mini Games. They make really great content. They will be in the end card along with the playlist to binge watch the entirety of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door for your convenience. So with that, I bid you all adieu.